competing states law. So competing states law is the parties can choose what is the material law that they want to use. For the example is. So this is the example case of competing states law. There is a woman named Angel Tang who has Korean nationality and she lives in Indonesia. And she meets a man named Mr. Han Ji Pyeong who has Korean nationality and he lives in Korea. And after they are meet, in a month later, And a month later, Mrs. Angelton get married with Mr. Han Ji Pyeong in Korea. And after that, Mrs. Angelton uncomfortable with him, so Miss Angel Mrs. Angelton apply the laws. Once got to divorce with Mr. Han Ji Pyeong. Miss Angel Tung apply the lawsuit into Korean court and if we are her lawyer and we should read the marriage contract and we should think the benefits for our client between using Korean law or Indonesian law and this is the include of competing states law. And the last for aspect of private international law is the informants of foreign Judgment. So, what is the informants of foreign judgment? The informants of foreign judgment is if one of the decisions has been issued, then it can be used in another card that has ratified international law civil. And for the example is so the example the informants of foreign judgment is there is a woman named Fiona who has Singapore nationality and she lives in Singapore and she meets a man is named Mr. Ampawat who has Thai nationality and he lives in Singapore and after they are meet and a month later and a month later Mrs. Piona gets married with Mr. Ompawat in Singapore and after that Mrs. Piona are uncomfortable with her husband so and then a year later Mrs. Fiona are divorced divorce me with Mr. Ampawat and apply the law shoot into Singapore court and use the material law also and when the judge has decided and the verdict is ready and they can use the verdict from Singapore card into Thai card and this is equal to informants of foreign judgment number five is what is incidental questions? Okay, so incidental question is once a card has decided what it, whether or not it has jurisdiction to hear the matter, it proceeds to characteristics the cause of action. There are three questions. The question is 
So the trick question is A. Whether the court has the jurisdiction or not B. What is the legal issue? And C. What law is going to be used?